Hello everyone and welcome back to another Kanehurst Customs. It's been a while since I've did one of these and today we're going to take a look at my custom Reverend William Stryker from the X-Men graphic novel God Loves Man Kills. And to start off, here he is, William Stryker. This is using the Captain Marvel Nick Fury body, which is really cheap right now. It's like less than 15 bucks. It's awesome. Uh, it's a decent enough suited body, decent enough articulation. And what I've done is I've painted the hands and the neck from the body uh, with some Citadel Acadian flesh tone and went over that with some folk art light flesh, a dry brushing of it, just to give him like a little bit of age to the hands. You see, just very old man looking hands. Same with the neck. You see that right there. Um, he has this uh, flower and cross on his tie. And these are just earrings from like a large multi-pack of earrings that you would get at like Claire's or Walmart or anywhere that sells like cheap jewelry for children. And just to show it off here is another one. Right there, and it's just glued on there with some crap glue. You can kind of see it, and if you heat it up, this just pops right off, and it's just glued onto the tie and the suit jacket. So these don't even hinder articulation at all. It's on the suit, it's on the tie, easy peasy. Uh, he has this book here, and this book is from the Diamond Select Hugo Strange. Um, I picked this just because it's a plastic book. It opens up. It's a neat little thing. It's just been chilling in my um, accessories bin for forever. It looks like a Bible. That's why I chose it. And it's just sticking in his hand with this uh, strip of sticky tack right there. Holds it on there pretty well. He also, uh, I also gave him a gun from near the end of the story where he tries to shoot Kitty Pride, And I don't even know where this gun is from anymore. Um, it's hard to keep track of, like, accessories, like, like, guns that, like, so many characters come with. It's, it's not even worth it, but you could use, like, any standard, like, Glock. This is not the gun that came with the Nick Fury, I know that for sure. Um, this head is the Director Orson Krennic Black Series head, um, I picked up a couple of these figures from Five Below. I had to dremel the head out just a little bit just to get it to fit onto the ball peg. Um, but you can still do all, all that fun articulation stuff. Now what I did do with this head is I went in with some Cadian Flesh Tone and I hit some of like the um, wrinkles and everything. You see the forehead and the jawline, all that other kind of good stuff under the lips. With the Cadian flesh tone to really bring out like the wrinkles and the age. I thickened up his eyebrows a lot because Stryker's eyebrows are just like old man eyebrows. Like he's never trimmed these in his entire life. And I hit the lips with a little bit of pink mixed with some flesh tone. I also did like a wash of white in his hair because originally the figure's hair is very like... Uh... I scratched that off. That looks horrible. It's a very light gray. Uh, but other than that, this was a really simple, quick, easy custom. Yeah. And I was really surprised because I don't really see a lot of William Strikers or really even any William Strikers. Considering he's a fairly significant X-Men villain, he's not like Magneto important but god loves man kills is a very significant x-men story and he has appeared in stories even afterwards where he had like nimrod's hand and was trying to cause trouble for the x-men and various x-related groups so it's just a little surprising seeing that like really no one else has done this that i'm aware of but because I haven't done really anything to the body, he still has the same articulation that the standard Nick Fury uh, figure has. So, it's a decent enough figure. Uh, this was a real simple and easy custom, like I've said. Um, so, I'm hoping to see other people attempt this one. It's cheap. 
Uh, you could probably get this whole thing done for less than $25. So, I mean, that's that. This is a really simple, really easy custom. Like I said, I, I hope to see other people try this out. Or even to do it better. Maybe there's a better head that, you know, people picked out. Maybe, maybe there's even a better body. Maybe the Nick Fury body isn't the body you would go with. Maybe you'd go with the other suited body from Marvel Legends. Maybe not that one at all. I don't know. But, you know, like, like I say in a lot of these Kanehurst custom videos, if I can do it, you can do it. It's, it's simple enough. It's easy enough. You know. This is, this is a fun little project. It's short, sweet, simple. I hope to see more of them. And I'll catch you in the next one. Goodbye.